everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We are here for day number 22 of the Femurember and I have had the busiest day. So I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing today. Um, we're just going to kind of wing it. <laughs> so the prompts are water and envelope insert, which I'm not exactly sure whoops, what envelope insert means when I think about it, I think of like people stuffing envelopes with inserts, like, like junk mail, like, um, you know, didn't they used to do that in the like eighties and get paid? Like you could stuff envelopes from home or something. There was some kind of a weird MLM racket or something doing that. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, what I'm planning is to do something a little interesting. Um, I don't have a super ton of time, so I'm trying to keep this on track today. So the animal today is the hamster. And I love hamsters. I've had many hamsters in my life. Um, as a child, I have mixed feelings on whether or not they make a good pet or not, um, just because they have short lifespans. <laughs> so anyways, so this here is a piece of HP um, photo paper and it's a glossy paper um, and so I want to use it for a little bit of a mixed media today but what I'm thinking is this will be my insert and I'm just going to do something fun with an envelope to go with it so we have an envelope and then also the insert um, so I think what I want to do is I want to actually tear right above where the photo is going to be inserted so that this will go on a journal page as so. And then um, I will go ahead and just re-glue the top because I still want it to be like an envelope. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the outer, the outer shell of this and we'll figure out how to make that interesting momentarily but let's work on the photo paper first so um i think what i want to do is just play a little bit with different mediums and water of course um so i've got some alcohol ink um some alcohol pearl from tim holtz which is like um a, a glittery ink i've got distress ink in cracked pistachio um, and then I've got this um, Distress Oxide Spray in Rustic Wilderness. So I want to go with a green theme today. I think a lot of people are going to be like actually depicting water. Um, so I want to do something just a little bit different than that, I think. Okay, so what to begin with? Let's start with just a little bit of normal alcohol ink. Um, and hopefully this one has not been opened. It hasn't. Okay. Let's open this one with my little pokey, pokey tool here. There we go. The goal is not to get this all over my hands today. So we'll just drop some from a bit of distance. Maybe a couple little ones just directly on. Okay, and then some of the alcohol pearl, which doesn't move around too much, but we'll mix it here with some of these. And then a little distress ink, which I don't even think I've opened this one yet. No, I haven't. Yay, something new that I haven't even used. Okay. And this one has like a dauber. And it's a much thicker ink. Then we're going to take a bit of the Dispress Spray. And that's enough. That's more than enough for really mediums. Now we're just going to play a little bit with this. So just dropping some water. All these mediums act a little different with water, which is kind of fun. Okay. And then I'll move it around a bit. I do have that tool that you blow through to blow your ink around, but I don't think I want to use it actually. I'm just going to kind of tip this around. Then I'm actually going to take the envelope and I'm going to smoosh it right on top. 
to remove any excess um, medium and also to give our envelope some kind of a nice treatment as well. So then what I'll do is just pick up the photo paper, give this piece of scrap of fold that I'm using and get it out of here for a moment so that we can now dry this with my heat gun and see how interesting it's already looking, how pretty those colors are. So let's just dry it. So take a look at that. Isn't that fun? How all those different inks react. I think the pearl and this one is my favorite. Which one was that? That was just the normal alcohol ink. I just like the depth of the color, but I like the whole thing together. It's really quite fun. Okay, so we'll just set our mediums over here because I don't need them anymore. And we want to make a little bit of a scene here for our little hammy friend. Um, so I've got this punch that I haven't really used all that much and I just grabbed some scraps out of my scrap bin because I'm trying to use things up. That's another part um, for me with Defemor Ember is like using things up. So let's, <laughs> let's squeeze this. <laughs> these are so, these punches, these McGill punches, I don't know, not my favorite. They're like intense. You have to lay them down, I think, to get the best result, but, okay, all right, perfect. Now we should have six of these because I doubled that paper over. Yes, we do. Okay, so those are just fun, fine little detail pieces. And what we're left with is this. That's kind of fun. We could do something with that maybe on the envelope. So I'm just going to cut this off of here and see if maybe something fun could come of that. We have to dry that envelope too. I may do that off camera after I play with this a little bit. So we don't want to make this super, super bulky. And I was thinking about adding some kind of like a different texture. So I've got this old paper that's been handwritten on and I was thinking maybe of adding a couple pieces of it. It's just some nice old handwriting. Maybe add this one here. This one here. And we could put our hamster friend here and then start adding some of these bits around him. So let's give that a try. I am sort of finishing up the last bits of things before Christmas for my children. I'm making my son a quilt and I'm trying to finish that up today if I can. I did grocery shopping, which was not fun, but I did it. <laughs> and I'm going to be baking cookies with my daughter probably tomorrow. I think I'm waiting for one more gift to arrive in the mail and then I'm done I think. I think everything is here and wrapped. I've wrapped everything which I'm happy about because I don't need any more things on my brain between now and the holidays. I'm off work although I did respond to an email today from a very hopeless kind of person who I don't know what would have happened to him had I not. Um, Sometimes that just, you know, you got to take mercy on people. It's that time of year, they tell me. Okay, so now 
just gonna pop a few of these little spriggies down. I actually really like this punch despite complaining about the usability of it. I love what it creates. Let's see if I can use glue stick. It's really delicate though. I often tear these kind of things when I use glue stick because the glue just gets everywhere, but we'll see if I can do this gingerly here. And I can. Okay, let go. Just give it a slide. And maybe one more. of me. There we go. I also went to the bulk barn today and that was a lot of fun. I don't know if outside of Canada if bulk barn exists but it's a large bulk store like a bulk food store. Oops and I really like it. It's always fun to go there at Christmas time and like get all the little bits and bobs. I was going to make I often make like a homemade version of like Chex Mix at, at Christmas. I was going to do this that this year but in past years like it costs usually around I would say two hundred dollars to make like a batch of it a big batch of it for you know friends and family and whatnot and also when you serve it up it does not last because people go through it so um this year I think it probably would have cost around 320 ish dollars just because of the sad and unfortunate greed of our grocers and all of the uh, raising of prices of food that we're experiencing. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do it this year. It's just a lot that I don't want to spend. And there's already going to be so many other things that I'm just not worried about it. And also we're having a very tiny get together. So I'm not really worrying too hard about that kind of stuff. I have a tendency of like wanting to make everything. <laughs> rather than just what we need. Okay, so there's those little delicate bits. I kind of like that. Those are cute. Then I feel like I need some kind of a, a word snippet up here to make this a little bit um, finished on top. So let me go to my, you know, I also have this book here that always has these little sayings at the beginning of every chapter. I wonder if there's a cute one that would go with our hamster. Not that one. No. Hmm. <laughs> of course, like I always find great ones when I need one and I can't find one. You know what? I will take a little break um, and I will find my word snippets. Okay, so I'm back with my little word snippet and I found this one from an old book. Whenever loneliness came upon me as a thief in the stillness of night, I would wander through the meadows and somehow know all would be right. And I thought that was kind of nice and very cute for this little hamster. He's on an adventure. Maybe he's by himself. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down to the top here. So this will be our insert for our envelope and you know using very simple mediums and water we got a really fun mixed media feel here. So I am happy with that. I am going to back it though because we have the HP photo paper. Um, I will do that off camera. I'm also going to probably round the corners after I've backed it. But first let's work a little bit on the envelope insert. So I think what I want to do with this maybe um, is I like this. 
so I don't know. I kind of think like I want to glue this part down and have our, this be in here like so. This would glue onto the page like this and then we would decorate the front here again. But I do also quite like how the front of this envelope turned out. So maybe we will do a little decorating on the envelope on the side that I don't want glued down. So let's do that. Let's do a little bit of fun here. Um, so I'll do a bit with the pearls. A little over here, because all of this will be visible. Oops. There we go. That's enough of that. <laughs> I'm actually glad it came out though. It gave me a little bit more of a random pattern than just daubing it. And we'll do a little of that thicker fun ink. And then some of the regular alcohol ink again. And then just finish it off with a nice spray of the um, Distress Ink. And we'll just do one spray. Then I will hit this with some water. Yeah, and that will make it as pretty as the back was. Okay, so I've got a couple things I need to do. I need to back this, I need to dry this. Um, so we'll do that and then I'll come back and we will work on the front of the envelope. Okay, so I have corner rounded these. I've covered the back with some of the um, splattery paint that I got from decorating this envelope, which is now beautiful, right? How pretty is that? I love those pearls. They really came out nicely. So now what we have is something that we can glue down to a page. We would glue this back side here glue that down and then this will go inside we, this is the insert into the envelope then this will flip over and we still have this to use um, as something lovely so I grabbed from the Mouskin finds a friend book this page that has these really lovely flowers and I think I just want to pop them on there um, just as a little decoration on the front of the envelope so we will just tear this and then just trim it up a little. Okay, and then I will go ahead and ink the edges of this. stick which is almost empty I think getting there to go in I may need to go in with a little art glitter glue on the edges here just because I think my glue bottle is getting a little dry all my glue requires maintenance today I guess <laughs> I need to fill all my glue bottles okay there we go this side's down this side needs a little help This side is also down. This side isn't so much. Let's just throw a little glue in there as well. There we go. Okay, now it's glued down. <clears throat> okay, so then this will glue down. 
you'll you'll see this on the page open it up and you'll have all these beautiful colors and then this will pop out with our hamster friend so then i also just have um a couple fun little stickers i was thinking of trying to pop on here um this one is vellum which means it's impossible to peel the backing off of <laughs> almost impossible that's okay we got it I think I will add that here I just like adding a, th a few things that have some real details in them so vellum stickers are great for that a little ginkgo leaf maybe here and maybe this little pine cone right down here okay yeah I'm happy with that it's a fun little project I think and then there's also, you know, you can write on here because it's quite a light picture. And um, then, of course, you have the journal card inside or the journal insert. So that's it for me for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you are having fun still with Define Remember. I am. Um, these last few videos they might be a little bit quicker just because I am hopping like a bunny to get a whole lot of things done. Um, and the 25th I may actually film ahead of time so I may not end up using the intended animal. We shall see. Um, but thanks again for hanging out. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. I do try to do fun things. I have a lot of fun things planned for the new year and um yeah have a great day and be creative bye for now